start that over. YouTube fishing fam, what is going on? It's your boy STFCTF, aka Josh Exotic, and uh, just bringing you another, you know, awesome, awesome video. So basically, what we got is we went to Lake Mead. This is still early July. I know I'm posting in August, but July. Bringing these videos as fast as I can. And uh, I went with my oldest, um, AJ, and my uncle Raul, or Raul, the five five six assault rifle. Anyway, and uh, yeah, man, early boil. So we were just checking out the boil scene, seeing how it was in uh, Lake Mead, and um, it's starting to pop off now, it being August. However, um, a video before that, I broke my fishing pole. You guys did not see that or anything. I did not put it in there, I didn't capture it, but I broke my fishing pole. So with that being said, um, this is basically what I was using to catch all my fish and I was throwing. So I got a new Phoenix Maxim rod, okay? This is, a, I think, a 7.3, yeah, 7.3 fast, medium, heavy, and then now I have it paired with the uh, Shimano uh, SLX DC, and uh, so this is like so light. I'm glad that I upgraded, got something a little better. So this is what basically I was using all day, um, and then as far as the lure, obviously the Super Spook, the 6-inch Super Spook Bone um, by Hayden or Hedden or however you want to call it. This is a custom black Team Lose Speed Spool. Um, this thing is freaking, or speed stick, this thing is awesome too. But I had it paired with this, and this is what my kid obviously learned how to throw a bait caster on, which is awesome. A DC, so I don't really have to worry about backlashes or anything like that. Tighten it all up, and he was just firing away. So he had a good time, he was swimming. We caught a ton of fish, the fish are boiling. Um, we went out from 5 a.m. to like 9.30 a.m. Real quick trip, we caught about 20 to 40 fish, somewhere around there, honestly. Um, in a quick amount of time didn't have to travel too far we hit launch boulder we hit boxcar cove crawdad cove um in between crawdad cove and government wash and then we tried government wash but we didn't have any luck at that time so if you guys are from las vegas and that kind of deal man get out there these fish are boiling if you see the water looks like you're boiling pasta ramen whatever it is get this thing out there and throw it in the middle of it, maybe a little bit past it, even in front of it, it doesn't matter. The hot dog will get eaten by the monsters. Actually, they're not monsters in Lake Mead, but it gets hit, man. Um, I tried throwing whopper ploppers and all kinds of stuff. I got other videos coming out. And this, I don't know what it is, but at least for me, in my personal opinion, with me only, you know, speaking for myself, from my experience on Lake Mead and how I fish boils on Mojave or Lake Mead, this thing is a wrecker, man, and I don't know why. So I have about 15 of them because sometimes, you know, you launch them and that's what happens. However, don't forget to comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, blah, blah, and check out my TikTok. I'm blowing up over there. I'm close to 10,000 followers. I'm close to 1,000 followers on YouTube. You guys are the magic, making it happen one click at a time. You guys will check out this video. See you on the water. Fourth of July. So the plan was to come out here 
and catch a bunch of striper with boils, but we haven't seen a lot of boils today on uh, the happy 4th of July. Let's line out. So we're teaching how to aid in how to use a bait caster instead. And he's doing a great job. Let's line out. Right. All right, go up, go up, go up, go up, go up. Stop. Right there, go ahead. Cast that out. Oh, wait oh, in. You chucked that one, dude. Just look into the rhythm of my heart With the chance we can make it now Let me look into the sun goes down